Hello, Mark Crossfield here. Today we're going for a matchup between the MP63 Mizuno against the old Mizuno MP53. I'm getting a lot of requests for a video on these two, so here we go. Let's hit them. Let's see what the difference is. So Mizuno MP53 up against the uh, 63, so 53 diamond muscle with the pocket cavity against the diamond muscle 63. Both of these clubs look great, slightly thinner sole on the old 63. Top line on these two again, slightly thinner on the 63 over the 53. Very similar, a bit less offset than the 53 as well, on the 63 is a slightly more classic less offset look. So both of these clubs. 53 is going to kind of cover a more broader spectrum of player, I would say, so help uh, medium and high handicappers as well as low. And then at a 63, really, you've got to be a kind of 15 handicapper below to be really going for this one, depending on your quality of strike. Let's give them both a hit. We've got Chapman on. Let's see if it produces any different kind of stats. We're going to go today with a launch angle. So we're going to actually see if we can manipulate the launch angle out of these two eyes, see which one goes higher and which one goes lower. In theory, obviously, the 63 should go that bit lower. So let's give it a hit. Here we go. Mizuno 63. It's a lovely looking iron. Thin. Lexa no offset. Really classic design. Let's give it a hit. See what it feels like. Okay, feels nice. Normal Mizuno soft. Feels Vertical good. 15.3 degrees. So 15.3 degree launch angle on that one. Let's give that another hit. You really feel like you could manoeuvre the ball wherever you want with this one if you're confident with your Vertical speed. launch, 15.4 degrees. So pretty consistent with the launch on those two, around 15.4. Feels nice. I like the next to no offset on the 63. You do feel like in the longer irons in this one, though, you're going to have to be ripping it pretty good. There's not much help going on with this club. So let's compare that up then with the 53. It's definitely a little bit more offset to look at. It's as, as pretty, though, if you can get over the offset on these. Okay, let's give this one a hit. This is the 53, should be going higher in theory. Feels nice. It does, I mean, that's topped out higher. Even than the Vertical launch, 16.2 Yes, it's gone up a degree, 16.2. And I do feel with the 53, I could hit it at a good height, but I could also get it going higher if I need to, where the 63, I feel like I'm gonna have to really work hard to get that up in the end. I mean, that's subject to how hard you're hitting the ball. If you're swinging the club particularly fast or aggressive, you can have no problem getting it up in the air. You might be wanting the reverse effect, which is to keep it down, which 63 will do. Over 53, let's give it another hit. Bit lower, that one. It's nice, though. Vertical launch, 16.0 degrees. Just 16 degrees, it's still a decent flight, isn't it? Let's give it one more go. Let's see if I can push this one up in the air a bit more. I do feel like I can with this club. Yeah, I mean, if I was going over something there, getting it to land off, that's definitely got up higher. Vertical launch, 17.9 degrees. 17.9. So, workability is always an interesting question for me. Lots of people ask me about workability. For me, as the way I swing it, I feel I can work the 53 more than I can work the... 63 because I can get the 53 high because of this weight off the face this pocket cavity over the uh, 63 so Depending on how you're swinging, you know 53 for me offer more workability I get a true flight I can keep it lower if I want but I can also get a higher launch if I'm going over obstacles So that both great clubs feel really Mizuno soft feel great love the, the looks of both of them Biggest question on these two is do you want a bit more help? Or do you want to hit it lower? So you're going to be more 63 over 53. Can you handle the offset? Or do you prefer a straight neck, more kind of an iron? They're the questions you need to be asking yourself if you're looking at these two irons. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helps. Any questions, post below. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossroad, and Twitter for Golf Online. Just follow me. I'll always try and answer questions. If you've got any questions, we can chat through there as well. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.